Okay, my name is Daryl Chislett, and a extreme passion in my life is building scale wooden ship models. Okay, this is the Mattia, John Cabot's ship from 1497, named after his wife, Mattea, and we've kind of anglicized that to Matthew. I built this a few years back, about 2,000 hours work into it. It's all entirely hand-built. Uh, every little piece on it that I've made myself, down to the buckets and the barrels that are on deck, they're all individual pieces. The sails, a lot of models, people just put the sails on and they just kind of hang there. And these, I like to show the wind is actually in. Next, we have a West Country Ketch. They came to Newfoundland from about 1870 up to 1914, when Newfoundlanders started using their own boats. So they'd come over to Newfoundland, they take the salt and the fish from small ports, bring her to other vessels and bigger ports. There was one story of one of these actually being sailed back to England solo, single-handed. And once again, everything is totally hand-built there. There's even a little cage over on deck there where they keep the chickens and stuff like that, right? This one here, that is a Yumiak. They were known as the women's boat and of the Arctic Inuit people. She was constructed, the, the hull here now is constructed and sheathed in seal skin and the rigging blocks, I've actually carved them out of whalebone. They were used for hunting whales too, of course, but during travel and times of migration, the men would travel along in their kayaks, and the women and the elders and the village possessions would travel along in the Umiak. Quite often the ownership of a Umiak was shared among various family groups or whatever like that. The one I'm working on now is known as a bus. This type of vessel developed in Holland back in the 1500s, and then they were adopted by England and some of the other northern nations as fishing vessels. So long before the age of the schooners, which everybody knows about, there is mention in the literature of buses fishing off the coast of Newfoundland. So before our typical schooners, this is the type of vessel that used to fish here. And our word bus, being a blocky large cargo carrier, actually is derived for this type of vessel. And they had one big log central mast there, and a bowsprit here. This bowsprit could actually come off and was laid across the vessel there, and they would tow nets, so it was a for, for very early form of draggers. And that's just an example of my little boat there. It's all totally hand-built. Every little individual piece is planked and ribbed. And so that's gonna be a very nice piece when I'm finished. 